The Abrams is still one of the most powerful and capable tanks in the world. It is heavily armored, has a powerful engine, and is equipped with a variety of advanced weapons systems. This makes it a valuable asset in high-intensity combat environments. The Abrams has a proven track record. It has been used successfully in a number of conflicts, including the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan. This gives the Army confidence in its ability to perform well in future conflicts. The Abrams is a key component of the Army's combined arms doctrine. This doctrine relies on tanks working in conjunction with other assets, such as infantry, artillery, and air support to defeat the enemy. The Army believes that the Abrams is essential to this approach. The Abrams is a major economic driver. The production and maintenance of Abrams tanks support thousands of jobs in the United States. The Army is reluctant to do anything that could put these jobs at risk. In addition to these reasons, the Army is also hesitant to retire the Abrams tank because there is no clear replacement ready. The Army is developing a new tank program, called the Next Generation Combat Vehicle, but this program is still in the early stages of development. It is not expected to enter service until 2030. Until the NGCV is ready, the Army will continue to rely on the Abrams tank as its main battle tank. The Army is currently upgrading its Abrams tanks to the MM1A2 SEPV-3 standard, which includes a number of new features, such as a more powerful engine, improved armor, and a new fire control system. These upgrades will keep the Abrams tank competitive with other tanks in the world for many years to come. For